is happening, fam, on the road. I'm telling you, I have done so much driving, hunting down parts for this big, beautiful red 24 valve. Gotta love it. It's been a journey hunting down parts all over the place. I've been in Ohio a couple times, Michigan, other parts of Indiana trying to find parts. It's been a challenge, but it's all coming together. I'm in the Silver Steed here. Honda CRV. This thing has been awesome to just run and put miles on. We put 4,000 or 4,500 miles on this car in less than two months. It's been absolutely crazy how much we drive. It's a comfortable car to get in and run around in, and I don't feel bad putting the miles on it. <laughs> we picked up a beautiful, paintable fourth gen bumper. No dings, dents. There's a couple little tiny like scratches on it, but it's getting repainted anyways. So long story short, ordered a bumper from Texas that ended up going to cost me like between $450 and $500 to have it purchased and shipped all the way here to the Fort Wayne, Indiana area. Right before they shipped it, I had already paid, but right before they shipped it, this guy listed a bumper. He said, hey, local pickup only, just over an hour from my house. So I said, really quick i'm gonna cancel an order canceled it they sent me 500 dollars back or whatever ended up being it was about 500 bucks for the other bumper and shipping and then i just went and picked this thing up for 200 freaking dollars there's a little dirt from it sitting on the ground right there but no big dents it's not rusted it's beautiful and it's going to be perfect the brackets i had already ordered fourth gen to second gen brackets on Amazon and they are already supposed to be arriving I think tomorrow and uh, this is getting dropped off for paint literally tomorrow as I mentioned in the previous video as soon as I picked the bumper up I was going to take it right over in the morning. Well a lot has happened in the last two hours. I was going to show it to you guys so this is the worst of it there's a couple scratches on it here but there's no dent it's not a dent it's just like scratches into the primer on the bumper. It also had all of these clips in here missing so I ran uh, three big bolts here on this side. The first three on that side are bigger bolts. And then I did three smaller bolts in the center. Pretty much it. The valance though is very nice, very straight. It's not all crinkled up. And uh, that's the bumper that we went with. Hardware is there. Everything is on. It's got the studs sticking out to mount the fourth gen brackets onto. Second gen to fourth gen brackets. Pop in some new clips and stuff and whatever. But I had that stuff all sitting around the barn. So I was able to get everything buttoned up. So it's going to be going to paint tomorrow. Now whether or not I get the reaction out of Reagan I'm hoping for that's on the table but she hasn't even seen this bumper yet all she knows is that i went and got a fourth gen bumper she doesn't get to see any of the progress like from the time i took the fenders off to now and she's not going to be seeing any of the progress of putting the grill on the mirrors on the tail lights you know she's not going to get to see any of that until the truck is done that's the deal i said hey you've got to stay out of that barn and let me do my magic it's going to be a big birthday surprise so don't ruin it for me and let me put the time and the money and the effort into getting this thing buttoned up the best that I can to get the truck the closest I can to what she wants it to look like. Take in what she's telling me and relaying it with my vision onto the truck. That's what we're doing. And hopefully she's just as excited about this thing as I am when it's done. What's going on guys? It is the next day actually. I already intro this video picking up the bopper. I think. Anyways, it's the next day. We are on our way to get the bumper dropped off for Miguel to do paint matching on the bumper as well. Not sure what all is going to get fed into this video. I know my dad said that we might need to do some hay work over at the farm, but um, I'm also planning on just working around the house with Reagan today, cleaning up the place, getting stuff organized, rearranged, cleaning the barn. All kinds of stuff that usually, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I've just, I've been so busy this week. I don't want to do all that when I'm done working for the week if I'm going to take a day off I'd actually like to take a day off but we all know in reality for most of us guys it's just not in us to just not work when there's stuff to be done Well, we're here with the father. We're going to be taking him for a ride in the 5.9 for the first time. I just saw a raindrop. Hopefully it's a fluke or this isn't going to be so fun. What are your thoughts? What are your expectations? Similar setup to the silver bullet. Similar. Close. But not, not exactly the same. Let's go. Let's do it. But yeah, if you guys want to enter to win this thing, lnpgear.com. Place an order. Get entered to win. Where's he going? What are you doing? 
<laughs> no, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> Me driving? Are you crazy? Bro. I said, where does he think he's going? So sad. I mean, all I'm saying is, I thought maybe you could take a driver's lesson first. Initial thoughts when you see the shifter, what's your first thoughts in terms of difficulty of driving? More complicated or not so bad? As compared to a manual transmission? As, yes. I can't think it is being too bad. Well, because we've got a lot of people in the comments that are like, ah, oh, it just seems like a really complicated way to drive. And you know, it's just a lot, you know, I don't, I don't really, I want to drive an actual automatic, not a semi-automatic. And I'm like, dude, I showed Reagan how to drive this thing in five minutes. And she's like, this is freaking fun. Yeah. It looks cool. It, it, and, it, and it looks cool. So let's get this camera rolling. Let's go. Same truck. Same truck, but gay. your overdrive and then it's in lockup right now I'm gonna unlock it you shift the ratchet shifter for three gears for a second third and then lock up and then overdrive is obviously like your cruising speed or your higher speeds gear but for the most part you don't use overdrive if you're like doing a 0 to 60 or drag racing somebody Obviously, you don't have pedals and you don't have to shift it out of third gear. You just have to make sure. You hear that? I just don't think you can catch it. So you don't think I can. See, the problem is that road is a road you don't really want to catch them on. It's pretty windy. <laughs> but if that's a challenge. Yeah. 
terms of like the power, it's just with fuel mods and a turbo injectors, you know, like just fuel mods pretty much and air, fuel and air. But there's no like computer programming to like increase or decrease fueling at certain times to make it efficient and burn better. So in reverse, it's bump up one, pull, bump, R, down. So it's, so it's not complicated at all, <laughs> but they make it hard to get into reverse so you don't accidentally. It's kind of like the old four-wheeler we had to like push the red button, pull this back, then click it down. Yeah, yeah. push the button, pull the handle, hit the foot. Yeah. Next day here, we are working on Rosine currently. Let me show you what we've got going on. So right now, what I'm gonna actually do, we're trying to get everything done to Rosine in the next 24 hours. So it's gonna be a crunch. Uh, Dad's coming over to help get this buttoned up as fast as we can and as careful as possible. We're gonna be using this Duplicolor Perfect Match Chrysler PR4 flame red paint we're gonna paint the roll pan the proper color and i know guys can be like why would you paint the roll pan you just take it to get it done whatever this thing is actually screwed to the um bed there and then it's fastened down below and it, it's just it's just not gonna make it to paint today there's just no way you know when we do get it done this stuff will just sand off it'll just sand off and it can get repainted it's not that big of a deal but I want it to match her tailgate for her birthday surprise reveal that we are going to be trying to do in the next 24 hours. Yes, in the next 24 hours, this truck's gonna go from no tail lights, unmatched rear bumper, dusty, dirty, no mirrors, no fenders, no bumper, no custom grill, to having everything done, even the wheels and tires. But there's gonna be a catch to some things, the wheels and tires and stuff. Not giving that up in today's video, but you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned and see what we have planned. The wheels that we were originally going to put on this truck that are brand new, that are coming from a sweet company, they're not gonna make it in time to get this done before Reagan and I go on a trip for her birthday week, which by the time you guys see this video, we'll already be coming back from that. And we've got some extra little goodies in store as well that I haven't mentioned to you guys yet that are gonna top off the effect of this thing. So stay tuned, let's get busy. What I'm gonna be working on in this segment, in this video is I'm gonna be working on cleaning up the engine bay the best that I can. There's a lot of dust in here and I'm gonna try to get some wipes, wipe down all the shroud, the valve cover, intake, piping. I mean, all the hoses, everything that I can get to that I can actually clean i'm gonna try to clean on this truck in the engine bay so that way she doesn't just have a great looking truck and then the engine bay is completely dusty and nasty so we're gonna try to clean that the best that we can we're gonna take some warm water and soap and wipe down the whole truck right now just to get all the dust off of it because my dad's gonna be coming over and we're gonna be going to pick up all the parts for this thing today and he's gonna help me set everything on to make sure that we don't scratch any paint um, i just want the truck to be clean so that once we get everything on you guys can see the reveal of the truck with at least the fenders, bumper, and all that stuff on before we do the wheels and tires and that other stuff later today because I'm gonna have to split this video up or it's gonna get way too long. Because guys, I'm gonna be literally filming for about 12 to 15 hours straight today. I don't know about you, maybe you guys would like to see like a, you know, an hour and a half long video when it's all edited down to what you guys like to see, which is just the main stuff we work on. It's gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna break it up into a couple segments. And then the next segment is gonna be some crazy transformations on Rosine with the whole front end getting buttoned back together and the wiring and everything resituated. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So we got as much done as we could with the detailing side of things. I tried to clean up this plastic along the top here, wipe down the valve cover, the intake stuff, defilm this the best that I could, but there's just still some like film like fading on the plastic. Um, got all the shroud that I could reach, did the whole top of the core support here. Um, got everything that I could get. Some of this stuff is just discolored. Like that's that looked like loose dirt to me, but um, I scrubbed it for a while and it would not come off. Got as much as I could reach. I even wiped down the coils. I wiped down the upper and lower control arms there. And uh, same on this side, got everything that I could reach, piping, um, washer fluid tank, everything up here. This is full of grime. I got most everything out of there. Everything that I could reach. Now what I've got to do is go pick up some hardware to finish that fourth gen bumper conversion. The brackets are here. So we're hoping to be able to do that in the next video here, but um, I do not have the nuts to go onto the factory fourth gen hardware. I have the brackets, all the factory hardware is there. It just needs to slide in place. So I need to go grab a couple of nuts from the hardware store to be able to do that. We should be pretty much good to go to button up all the front end in this next video. So I'm pretty excited about that. And some tires came in for Rosine and nothing but the best for my my lovely wife, we got her some Toyo MTs, 35 by 12 50s. Again, you can't see the wheels yet. You're wondering where the other two tires are. Well, they're not here yet. They shipped in a quantity of two each. So they said that I should get the other ones tomorrow. The wheels that we are actually going with that a company was so awesome and came through on, those are not yet here. And so I'll get into those other details in the upcoming video on what we're doing for the big reveal. Stay tuned for that information, but here's the tires that we went with, and that's all you get to see until the new wheels and tires are on. That is going to put a cap on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed what content I got for you guys. If you wanna enter to win this truck, go to lmpgear.com. There's a link in the description. You can literally just place an order and you're automatically entered to win this built 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. We've given away, how many trucks are we getting? 24 diesels, one gas, Chevy 1500, a Hellcat, tons of cash, and a bunch of small prizes over the last four years. So um, if you guys want to get entered to win, do it. And time is running out. You guys have just over two weeks left to enter, and then this giveaway is gone. Thanks so much for all the love and support, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.